Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to like the visuals in After Effects. So all project files are linked in the description. Consider subscribing if you like these kind of tutorial videos. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. First, create a new comb with 1080, height 9020, duration 10 seconds. Press OK. First, I am going to add a new solid by right click New Solid. Go to effects and presets and add grid. Change size from width and height sliders. Increase width and height. Reduce the border size to 2. Reduce opacity to 30. Go to this rectangle shape layer and select this rounded rectangle shape layer. Change fill to none and stroke to radial gradient. Create a shape like this. Make it center. Now I am going to change the color. If you click on the top, these two arrows, you can reduce the opacity. After that done, reduce stroke thickness to 2. Next, I am going to add deep low. So this is the third party plugin. I will put a link in the description. You can download from there. Go to effects and add deep glow to this shape layer. Check require for test. Reduce exposure to 0 0.50. Now let me add a new solid layer. And place it above the grid layer. Use a pen tool. Let me create a mask like this. Open mask from this background layer. Check inverted. Increase the mask further. Let me add another solid layer and place it below the shape layer. Go to effects of presets and add fractal noise. Next, add CC light rays from effects of presets. Change transform mode to none. Under fractal noise, set keyframe for evolution. Go a few frames over and increase the evolution amount to 5. Go to effects on presets and add tint. Change the map white to this color right here. Add a new solar layer. Go to effects on presets and add fractal noise. And CC light rays. Do the same steps that we done before. Change transform mode to none. Adjust center value, adjust radius and warp softness. Now copy tint and deep glow from the previous light layer. And paste it in here. Next, go to effects on presets and add CC light sweep. Place the playhead at the beginning and set keyframe for center. Place this anchor point to the left. Go a few frames forward and place the anchor point to the right.
Now let me add a test using type tool. I'll in a center and place it on top. Now let me add another test, zero, under this test layer, test, hold all door option key, press on this source test job watch icon, add this expression. It's in the description box, you can copy and paste, go to effects and presets and add slider control to this test layer. Highlight the value. Go to the speak with tail and add this into the slider control. Let me set keyframe for slider control. Go few frames over and see slider control value to 75. As you can see, there are some larger number after the point. We can remove this by going to this expression. Over here, add a dot value, which is all small letters. Then again, dot. Then two fixed, which is two small letters, and fixedly F is capital letter. Open bracket, zero, close bracket, then semicolon. So that fixed. Next, we want to add the percentage. Go back to expression again, plus, then double quotation mark, percentage. Yeah. Next, let me add test. Place this over here, go to view, show rulers, add these guidelines in here, adjust the test layers. After that done, let me pre-comb these test layers. Select all test, right click, pre-comb. Go to effects and presets and add gradient ramp to this test comb. Add CC light sweep to this S comb. Change direction value to 42 degree. Change shape to smooth, width to 60, sweep intensity 60, edge intensity 60. Set keyframe for center and place it to the left. Go few frames forward as the center to the right. Also, let me decrease the blend with original to 50%. Next, let me add dust particles video overlay on top. Press F4 and change blend mode to screen. Let me place this video overlay below the test core. And add this position and rotation. Set the rectangle mask tool and create a mask like this. Check inverter. Increase mask expansion and mask feather. Opacity to 40. Add this button and cursor image in timeline. Adjust position and scale. Add a tint to this button image. Change map white to purple. Add deep glow to this button image. Exposure to 0 0.50. For this cursor image, let me add tint. Change color to light purple. Adjust position and scale. Add deep glow. Set keyframe for position and place it to the right. Go a few frames forward, place it to the left, like this. Then go few frames forward, place it to the top. Easy is all keyframes. And open graph editor as a speed graph like this.
check the record for distant deep glow. Now I will set keyframe for scale for this button image in here. Go a few frames over and decrease the scale size. Go again a few frames and change the scale size to its original size. Do the same for the arrow image. Set keyframe for scale. Go a few frames over and reduce the scale size. Go again a few frames and change the scale size to its original size. Set all keyframes is ease. Open graph editor as a speed graph like this. Now let me create another solid layer. Place it below the mouse pointer and button image. Go to effects on presets and add fractal noise. Also, let me add CC light rays. Transform mode to none. Set the button image and check record for this in the glow effect. Go back to the newly created solid layer. Add tint. Change map white to pink color. Adjust warp softness and radius. Change shape to square. Adjust center value. After that done, cut the layer in here like this. So when we press the button, the light glows. Now set keyframe for position for this mouse pointer in here. Go a few frames over and place the mouse pointer in here. Add CC light sweep to this button image. Set keyframe for center in here. Go a few frames over as the center value like this. Finally, let me create a duplicate of the shape layer by pressing Ctrl plus D on keyboard. Change stroke to none and fill to radial gradient. As you can see, select this circle and place it like this. Set keyframe for start point. Go a few frames over and place the start point all the way to the right. Set the radial gradient and adjust the color like this. Reduce exposure from deep glow to 0 0.20. Pre comb the shape layer. Double click on this pre comb. Add fractal noise. Increase contrast value to 232.
overflow to wrap back, under transform, uncheck uniform scaling, adjust scale width and scale height. Set the keyframe for offset turbulence. Go few frames over as the offset turbulence like this. Now let me add fast box blur. Blur radius to 3. Let me change the fractal type to small bumps. Increase scale width and reduce the scale height. Set keyframe for evolution. Go a few frames over and increase the evolution amount to 1 times 180 degree. Change blend mode to overlay. Go back to main comb. Finally, let me go to this background layer which is this mask layer. Under mask, adjust mask further and expansion. Also in grid layer, change blend mode to add. Yeah, and that's it ladies and boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like, subscribe and share it to the friends. If you want to know how to relay Magnus Media in After Effects, check out this video right here. And if you want to know how to edit like Nidish Rajput, check out this video right here. And thank you for watching.